Hi, I'm Doug Stewart from Wave Marketing Direct and welcome to this tutorial on how to build a basic mini website using Dreamweaver MX. If you haven't already done so, what I suggest you do is to gather together all your images that you're likely to be using on your web page into one folder and that way it saves hunting for them later on when you come to uh, insert them into your web page. So I'm going to go right ahead, presuming that you've already done that. So the first thing you need to do is to come up to File, down to New, and then you have basic page HTML and click on create. This gives you your canvas that you're going to be working with and the first thing you need to do is to insert a table. If you've been using from page and you've just upgraded to uh, Dreamweaver you should be quite familiar with inserting tables. Uh, if not I'll show you how to do it right now. So you need to click on insert and then down to table and you have rows and columns a lot of marketers tend to use three rows in their web pages. Um, the first one, the top one being for the header image, the second one, the middle one being for the sales copy and the bottom one being for either a footer image or perhaps disclaimer or even contact details. But I just prefer to use a two, so I'm just going to click in two there. And then underneath this border thickness, now that gives you a border around your table. Again, it's personal preference I tend not to use these as they usually get lost if I'm using a background image but if you wanted to use use one I would suggest you use, use number one which is the thinnest line possible and that just gives you a, a very thin line around your table so we'll click on OK once I've done that inserts the table I want to bring it off to the uh, the center so we come down to a line click on center and that just brings it into the middle nicely now if you wanted to include a background color or a background image what you need to do now then is to use your right mouse button and just click on that come down to page properties and then come down to background color if you want a solid background color click on the little black arrow you can see there it opens up a nice palette with various colors what I wouldn't use is any of these multi or these luminous colors here these bright colors for your background color as it would probably tend to put off somebody from actually looking at your web page instead I would go for a dark blue or a dark red maybe even a dark brown or a dark green instead in this case I'm just going to go for a dark red for the example click on apply and that gives you the color covering the whole of your canvas if you wanted to use an image obviously you need to have an image ready to go in your folder so click on browse and then come down to where your um, background image is in this case is BG and if you haven't already done one of these um, you can do one in either Photoshop or Macromedia Fireworks and basically it's a 300 by 300 image and all you need to do is do your background color um, and then whatever else you want to include. I'll probably be doing a, a video at a later stage on how to do these little uh, blocks um, just to give you an idea. So keep a look out for that. So in this case I'm just going to click on OK. And as you can see now the URL has been entered into the box here. Click on Apply then OK and it's been tiled right across the background. So up in this top cell is where my header image is going to go. So again, you need to come up to Insert, down to Image, and then come down into your folder where your images are. In this case, it's called Header. And you can see again, there's a little preview here. Click on OK, and it's inserted nicely into my cell. So the cell underneath where my cell's copy is going to go, that's just going to be a basic white background. So I just need to come down to where it says BG here. Click on the little black arrow again, and then I'm just going to insert a white background there. Of course you can make it whatever colour you want. Again it probably needs to be a, a darker colour rather than a, a luminous green or pink or anything like that. So I'm going to insert another table into this cell now which is where my main sales copy is going to go. So we we'll do as we did before, just come to insert, down to table and this time I'm just going to use one row and one column. Again no border thickness. I would include a border full stop even if you wanted to. Click on OK and then come down to the line and center that again. Now this is probably a little bit too narrow um, for, for sales copy so I'm just going to expand this out a little bit further. 
and that way it just gives it a nice margin around the outside. There's nothing worse than seeing some websites and having the writing or the copy right close to the edge. It just very untidy, very off-putting, doesn't look neat at all. So at least this way, what will happen is you'll have your sales copy down the middle and it'll give you a nice margin around the outside. So this is where my header is going to go for my for my sales copy. Um, if you're not used to writing your own headers or um, your sales copy, there's a website called www.elance.com where you have uh, freelance copywriters from around the world graphic designers if you need images doing and also web designers if you're not comfortable doing your own website. Before a header I would use either Arial, Times New Roman or even Impact and in this case I'll be using Impact but I'm just going to write my header first. So it's going to be discover how you two can make a five figure income or a monthly income will have working from your kitchen table okay so there's my heading for this particular project I'm going to increase the size and also I'm going to use impact for my my font so I'm just going to expand this just a tad and make it a just make sure it's in the center here which it is and I'm also going to change this color and make it red and just sort of tends to stand out a little bit more when it's like that so just make sure everything is that's a little bit neater isn't it so underneath there is where I'm going to insert a subheading it needs to be a little bit smaller than your main heading so I'm going to make it 18 I'm also going to change the font from impact to Arial I don't think it's a good idea to have two impacts together it just makes it um, sort of like too much in your face so if I include an, an aerial font and an aerial subheading so I'm just going to put it 12 internet millionaires reveal their secrets I'm going to change the colour as well, make it into blue. And again, it's just a dark blue rather than a luminous blue. And then underneath is where you'll be inserting your actual sales copy. Um, also, you can you can insert your images here as well. You'll need to insert a table. So again, we'll just do as we did before. Come down to table, and this time it'll be two columns and one row. Click on OK and then you would insert your image into this side. You can actually move this depending on the size of your image and then the right hand side you can have little uh, subheadings here or even little bullet points and then continue underneath with the rest of your sales copy. Okay, So in another video, the next one, I'm going to show you how you can insert a uh, buy now button from PayPal. Uh, it can either be the, their default buy now button or if you have your own, own image I'll show you how to insert that. So until next time, take care.